TLO, what's pop? We are on Twitch. We are live. So you can come join us if you want. If not, that's cool. Just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from uh, Chicago to the UK, man. Um, right above me, man. This is the uh, the lit one, the live. If you do miss the live, and we get around to putting the highlights on there, boom, it'll be right here. If you miss the live at this point, that's on you because I let y'all know all the time when I'm live. So hey, don't forget we do got the Patreon. We post on here Monday through Friday, man. If you are not a member of the Patreon family, I don't understand. Now I'm gonna keep it real with you. I don't understand. I don't understand because now it's free. You can get a free membership. Can you see any videos? No, but you can watch and see what videos are coming out. And at any moment you can become a, you know what I'm saying? A member when you want to. The lineup is Derek, Line of Duty, Luther, uh, we put extras on here, but we put extras on YouTube, but then it gets blocked, and then I put it on here. Uh, Fresh Meat, and what else? Oh, yeah, Only Fools and Horses. Season 8, man. Only Fools and Horses is about to end. Can you believe that? Oh, anyway. Um, and we got merch. Don't forget we got merch, man. I don't have mine on, and I don't got the website up either. Oops. This is UK Explored. I went to Britain's roughest estate. And it was shocking. Shout out to UK Explorer, man. I am subscribed. Uh, been subscribed. I'm going to like the video before I even watch it. Because that's the type of subscriber that I am. You get me? Uh, let's get into it. Because what's shocking to you is not shocking to me. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's probably the same with a lot of people. Like Just because you're shocked doesn't mean I'm shocked. But let's watch, man. Welcome to UK Explored, where we visit the areas that you probably shouldn't. For this video, that couldn't be more true, as we took a look around one of the <laughs> okay, stay in this area early. most dangerous towns in the UK, and that's Warsaw. Warsaw is a market town in the West Midlands. It's about 10 miles north of... Warsaw. We heard of them before, right? We heard of this town. Is that true? Is this a bad neighborhood? The center of Birmingham. And like a lot of the black country, it's showing serious signs of post-industrial urban decay. According to crimerate.co.uk, Warsaw has a crime rate of 152, which is worse than Birmingham, believe it or not, and more than double the UK average, so it's pretty bad. Mm. Warsaw is also struggling with poverty, being ranked as the 25th most deprived area in the whole of the country. Damn, this damn what, who hit, what? <laughs> who knocked the roof off this joint? Like, that's crazy. I took a walk around two of the most dangerous areas in Warsaw. Okay. And those are Blakenor Heath. Oh. And Caldmore and Palry. Okay. Starting in Blakenor, this is the main shopping district. Well, um, or K N Heath. Just a few letters missing there. And just behind this area is a street called Dawson Street. Now, the national media has recently described Dawson Street and the surrounding area as Britain's roughest estate, where knife-wielding yobs run wild, among other things. And the local media feel the same as well, calling it a hellhole. And honestly... The local media did not call that a hellhole. Like, they printed that? Or they said it on live TV? It scared me. The moment I walked into Dawson Street and filmed the street sign, a woman told me to F off. And then she started making a call on her phone and I heard her say, they're filming right now, come and see. I didn't want to find out who she was calling. Well, you got up out of there, didn't you? <laughs> you did the high knee like Lucy would say, you high kneed it up out of there. So I made a quick exit and I didn't get as much footage from that street as I would have liked. But as you saw, there are boarded up houses, there's junk everywhere, and it probably is as bad as the media is making out. Here is some footage from the surrounding area. Okay, my daughter got one of these which doesn't get much better. This dude looked terrible. Yes, that was a flat rat in the kids' park, and there have obviously been... Yeah. 
But how did the rat get that flat? Yes, that Talk was a flat me. rat in the kids' park. And there have obviously been several fire pits burning at night. There are around 400 crimes reported every month just in Blaknell alone, most of which are violent offences and antisocial behaviour. I googled the latest news feed for the area and it was nothing short of shocking. There are stories about the general... I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Just because of how poverty it look, this is one of those places where I would have to take my fire. I am not going for none of that. <laughs> Even though I don't know how I would get this to the UK, I wouldn't be able to apparently. But it, it, nevertheless... Antisocial behavior there, people being shot at. Yeah, nah, see? Nope. Nope. <laughs> the fact that there's been fire shots fired lets me know. Y'all ain't got nothing better to do over here because ain't nobody putting into the city, so y'all gotta take what y'all gotta take. Children tearing up pigeons and throwing them into the chippy. Yep. And a young kid was blinded after being stabbed last year. So, wow, is all I can really say to that. Blake Knoll is certainly one of the most dangerous estates in the country. Did I just see little meat, big meat? <laughs> Pause. Did I just see little meat, big meat? What was it? Wow, that's all I can really say to that. Blake Knoll is so. That's little meat, big meat. On a brick wall, it's crazy. Only one of the most dangerous estates in the country, on paper and off paper, too. There's quite a mix of housing Pause. across the whole of Blake Knoll. Obviously, you can get some bargains, especially if you want to fix a wrapper. But the average price across the ward last year was in the 168,000 range. 68. My parting thoughts on Blake Nor is that it felt dangerous, it smelled dangerous, and I was happy to move on to the next area. <laughs> Bro said it smelled dangerous. That's the. It smelled like gun smoke, my boy. Hey, UK Explorers, a little tip from me to you, man. Make your videos eight minutes so you can get the so you can get what you deserve. Another of the most dangerous areas in Warsaw is Caldmore and Palfrey, which are two adjoining areas that are often grouped in stats. Things have gotten so bad across these areas this year that there have been news reports describing how many of the residents live in fear. This is this video got a half a million views uh, without being eight minutes, so there's only ads at the front and the back. But just imagine if you had an eight minute video, you, you can go in and add your own ads. Man, you would have had a good little check, my boy. You would have had at least six bands, six thousand. I'm not pocket watching, I'm just saying. And that the Home Office has funded an extra one million pounds to be spent on policing the area. Demographically, Caldmore and Palfrey are very different from Blakenall. Blakenall is a predominantly white area, while this area is predominantly an Asian area. Walking around, it's hard to ignore just how much litter there is everywhere, and there is obviously a very serious fly tipping problem. It's similar to what I've seen. What is fly tipping? What is? What do you mean fly tipping? Go back to the sign. Where? And there is obviously a very serious fly tipping problem. Put waste in the fly. Oh, that's like dumping. That's like dumping. Fly tipping is like dumping your stuff. Anytime that you go anywhere and there's like litter everywhere the city don't care the local council don't care the community don't care really like it's all bad it's similar to what i've seen in some of the other west midlands areas we've covered like smethwick and parts of wolverhampton and it also reminded me of areas in slough it feels like if you poke your head around any bush corner or wall you're just going to see loads of junk down there and the more anti-fly tipping signs you see, the more fly tipping there seems to be, <laughs> either right Not next bad. to the signs or just around the corner. This is ignorant though, like your community looks like Let's go. Shout out to HQ man. H H HQ man, he's a supporter everywhere. YouTube, I think TikTok as well here. Shout out to HQ. Just look at some of these shots here. It's amazing to me that areas can For be gifting, this messy. He gifted such a wide area. A sub. That's the Although honestly, I'm starting to get used to it as I'm seeing it more and more across. Two the subs. Shout out for the two tier subs. UK. Okay. Appreciate you. Two sub. Two, two, you know what I'm saying. 
There are a couple of high-rise tower blocks here near to the main shopping district, which often creates an antisocial hotspot. This music is awfully soothing to be in the hood. You gotta put some, you gotta put some, some Yanko on if you exploring this type of hood. You know what I'm saying? Search up Yanko type beat and put that in the background. Let's get negative since we here. Here's a look around the shopping area. It's quite a large district, which is typical within Asian communities. There's quite the mix of world food shops, takeaways, local businesses, and of course there are a few bookies. Walking around a couple of the housing estates, it was more of the same. There was loads of litter everywhere, more fly tipping. And although it's a pretty busy area and there weren't a lot of closed up shops or boarded up houses, it's obvious that the area is struggling. Browsing some recent headlines, it's a reminder of just how dangerous this area is. There are endless reports of violent incidents and serious assaults, with some pretty crazy stories like cars being attacked by groups of masked assailants, people fighting with machetes in the local park, stuff like that. Here is one of the knife amnesty bins we saw, set up by the James Brindley Foundation. Let's be real, okay. I seen, now that's the first time I've ever seen a knife amnesty box and I can draw my own conclusion what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be dumping your knives in there. Has any of those boxes ever been like tampered with and stuff taken out of it? I would not be surprised. Which is a charity that was set up in memory of James, who was stabbed to death back in 2017. You said not that you've seen, that's crazy. Salute, keep it that way. Because we don't promote violence on this channel, but we, like, I, like I, I'm not opposed to protecting myself. Just want to make that clear. <laughs> the West Midlands has a serious knife crime problem, one of the worst in the country. And it's skyrocketing year on year, so we can only hope that projects like this do help to reduce those numbers. The average house price across Cowdmore and Power Free over the last year was around 181,000. And I'll leave it on that note. This was a look at two of the most dangerous areas in Warsaw, which itself is one of the most dangerous towns in West Midlands. I'd love to hear from anyone who- Okay, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments though, man. Do y'all agree with this being one of the most dangerous spots in Britain? Because I don't know, man, it's like, Every time I do one of these videos, y'all be like, nah, that ain't dangerous at all. That ain't dangerous, or it is, it is. But let me know, because it look, it look poverty struck and streaking. It looks like a lot of poverty is here. And you know, with poverty comes a lot of stuff. So let me know, man. TLL, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post, I'm gone.